pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 343. And for the record, this is an audio recording. And we, it's um, quite lengthy, so we intend to play certain portions of it. Okay. Any objection? No objection other than we'd just like to know what minute, second portion Okay, but the entire audio is in evidence, correct? Yes, sir. Any yes, objection? Sir. Okay. okay. No. All right, and 343 in evidence. If you'd like me to read the specific minutes now, or we can provide it to counsel afterwards. Hey, if you want it now, or as you go? Or, okay. Thank you. Uh, we intend to play minute 25, 37 seconds through 26, 28. Um, one hour and 57 minutes, 21 seconds through... One hour, 58 minutes, 54 seconds. Uh, two hours, 38 minutes, 52 seconds through, excuse me, two hours, 38, 52 seconds through two hours, 39 uh, minutes, 43 seconds. And then two hours, 46 minutes, one second through two hours, 47 minutes, 20 seconds. Those are four clips. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to publish that to the jury? I did. Yeah. It's just audio. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the promise you gave me a little while ago. I'm I'm telling you, if you if you lost memory last night of kicking me out the door with the fucker hitting me, again, and you sorry. Mi and your memory is gone from uh, you kicking the the bathroom door and, and hitting me in the skull as I was bent down. I am Wait. Sorry. If you have those memory. Uh, 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 fucking, you know, di divots. I was upset. There was a lot wait, going on, okay, and I was in, on an ambient. Okay, like, why? Like, why are you obsessing over the fact that I can't remember it the way you remembered it? I said I was sorry. Okay, I didn't deny I know it. That. I'm not talking about that. What I want. It's, it's, and it, it's not to get you mad, it's not to get, it's just to get out of a bad situation while it's happening before it gets worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger, at least five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. Two, two. To avoid talking to me. To, to avoid escape me the, out. That's to the escape problem. the fight. You don't escape the fight. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You s escape figuring it out. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. Listen to me. Listen to me. A boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break. I'm not, not giving you a minute break. You do it at minute three at the beginning of an argument. No. There are rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the ref splits them apart or whatever. But I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is you, 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 you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. I fucking go to the, into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, bam, bam. Here you come. I come out. Fight, fight, fight. Crazy. Escalated. I go, I split again, I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, 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 bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me.
I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and that's a diff that's different. That's different. That's different. That's one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you Vases. come and knock on the door. Okay. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really, I should just let you throw. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether I throw pots and pans. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you. you, you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who... I said to Travis, I said, no, I said to you, hey, tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, tell, tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. fucking thing. And you, you figured it off. Face. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah, no, I when you fucking have a close You face. didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're Fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How? What am I supposed to do? Do this? How are you I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, you Johnny. Did you start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Mr. Depp, could you please explain to the jury what they just heard on those audio recordings? Um. What, what was displayed on the audio recordings was um, very much the tone and the aggression and the attitude um, and the need for a fight from Ms. Herb. That was, I don't know if that was some need for attention, but um, I don't that 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 was that was a sound that I had gotten very used to. The the squabbling, the the you know the the raising of the voice to to essentially excommunicate anything that I had to say about uh, the situation, um, but then. Uh, and I, I do remember the <clears throat> that incident. I believe that, that that's from the um, when I was um, I was in the bathroom and I, I was in fact taking a shower. And uh, th this was in penthouse three. And she came banging on the door, banging on the door, banging on the door. I didn't answer. I was in the shower. I couldn't deal with it. I didn't want to deal with any more of, uh, of that. Oh, the sarcastic, demeaning, um, aggressive, violent, toxic, 
pew. Uh, and so I was taking a shower and I didn't want to answer the door. She kept banging. And then I finally got out of the shower and I opened the bathroom door about just that that much just so I could have a a good hold on the door uh, in case she tried to burst in and I was right she did uh, she tried to, she was bathroom doors go in uh, she was pushing her all her weight on the door trying to get in and I was pushing back because I, I didn't want to let her in because I didn't obviously didn't want the confrontation. She was not in the best of moods. You can you can hear. Uh, so when I was pushing the bathroom door, trying to close it, and was almost closed, she suddenly kind of yelped in in pain. And she, she screamed out, ow, my toes or my foot or something. And so in that second, I thought possibly her, her, her foot had gotten caught under the door, which would, of course, not feel great on the foot or the toes. So I thought she was maybe injured. So I, I knelt down to have a look. The, the door was still, it was, it was still pretty well about that much open. And when I knelt down uh, on my hands and knees to look at her foot to see the injury, um, she kicked uh, the bathroom door uh, into my head. It, so it, it um, yeah, she kicked the bathroom door into my head, and uh, I was I was completely taken aback by such a, 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 a corrosive, horrific move. So I stood up, and I believe I I stood up, and I, at the, but but this at this point the door was. Open. I stood up and I said, I think I said, I think I said, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? And um, the next move was just a bang. It just, uh, she clocked me in the jaw. And uh, that was another shocker. How so long she, after that did you start recording? Sorry? How long after that did you start recording that audio recording that we just heard? That, that, that audio recording was about her uh, trying to make less of what had happened. In fact, trying to make less of what had happened by repeating some story to me that didn't make any sense, and it certainly didn't make any sense since I was there and I was the target. Um, so I wanted some confirmation from someone with some semblance of a, uh, a mind that could understand what was happening. Uh, I wanted Mr. McGibbon to come up, and I asked her to tell him what had just happened. And her answer was essentially, I don't know what he's talking about. Nothing happened. He's fine. And um, once again, uh, I told Mr. McGivern, time to uh, leave the premises. <clears throat> Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you now what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 162. Okay. 